Tell me you overpack without telling me you overpack. I'll go first. One suitcase, two suitcase, two duffel bags, a backpack, and a case of water, a case of sparkling water, two bags of snacks. You guys, today is the day. It is finally come. We are leaving to go to Arizona, to go to Sedona, to go on our anniversary trip. I literally have been talking about it all year long. We are vlogging the whole thing, baby, okay? We are doing it. I am excited. I have been packing for days. I'm just finishing up now. I don't have any makeup on because I'm like, I'm gonna be in the car, you know, at least eight to 10 hours today. So I'm like, I don't want makeup on my face. Let me use this little suitcase as a tripod here. Finally gonna close this guy up. So yeah, we are so excited to go on our trip. God, this suitcase is so heavy. If anyone is wondering, I got this suitcase and the little one, um, they're Swiss gear. I got them at Target. I'll try to leave them down below if you're looking for a suitcase. Now, honestly, let me keep it real with you guys. I am so bad at overpacking. I overpack for literally everything. We could be spending one night away from home and I will pack at least the little suitcase full, okay? Like, I just like to have my options with outfits. I like to have different shoes, different products, different purses. Like, I just like to be prepared. And we're gonna be gone for a week. Like we're literally leaving today, which is Friday. We're leaving in a couple hours. I'm just waiting on Spencer to finish up getting ready. And then we're coming home probably next Friday. Like we're kind of playing it by like ear for the drive home because we are road tripping the whole thing. So we're like, eh, we might make it home Thursday. We might make it home Friday, but literally we're gonna be gone for a week. I'm so excited. I'm so excited I like can't even catch my breath right now. I'm talking so much. I'm just like, ah. Loading up. And when I say we, I mean Spencer. Thanks, babe. You want my suitcases? Yeah. Little one. Oops, sorry. And the big guy. Nice. Oh, I told you it was heavy. I would push play right as we go. Guys, we are officially on the road. Technically, we're at a red light as of now, but we're on the road. Loud car, windows down. First stop, coffee. Coffee. You already know. First stop, coffee. Spencer is here. You guys want to see something cute? We have matching nails. You got matching toenails too. Yeah, and toenails, black on black. You know how we do it. Coffee has been secured. I got the, well, I didn't order this, but this is what they gave me, so this is what I got. Uh, the vanilla cream cold brew. It's a good one though, I've had it before. What'd you get, babe? Iced brown sugar espresso. This is fire. If you haven't had this, you should try this. Yeah, that's my favorite. I like it a lot. Yeah, they made it good today. Yeah. yeah. Officially on the road. Officially, and I forgot my vitamins. I was sitting here like in my head, you know, when you first leave the house and you're like, okay, I packed underwear, phone charger, this, that. I was like, I forgot our vitamins. And this is so annoying because you guys know how I am with my vitamins with my containers. I reloaded them last night in mind because I was like, oh, we're gonna be gone for a week. I cannot believe I forgot them. It's not worth turning around though. We're too far gone. First pee break of the trip. If you're gonna do this every time, there's gonna be so many. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it every time. There'd be like 50 pee 
breaks on the trip, but first pee break. Ooh, rest up. <laughs> out like a gallon, I swear. Okay, you guys, it is officially 428. We haven't made it uh, very far into California yet, but we just pulled over here to get some gas. It's 450 a gallon. That's insane. It is not that expensive at home. Uh, we're at this truck stop that it's a trucker, a truck stop, food court, and liquor store. Not that we really need liquor, but... How exciting. I'm gonna put my hair up for this one. Spencer's pumping gas. Can't really see him, but that is what's happening. God, my hair is crazy. I need some lip balm. Even though I'm gonna put a mask on. My lips are a little crusty right now i brought this bag with me i just got it on amazon super cute little black bag it's like a really good medium size the laneige lip balm always all right let's go to the store why sell on my neck bitch high as hell when i'm moving on the next bitch Shawty say she from the south, she from Texas She say when you ask in town, send a message I just wanna put some rocks on my necklace Bitches drowning in so rock with they best friends I'm just in the field grinding with my brethren Okay, leaving the truck stop. Let's do a little truck stop review. Uh, bathroom, 10 out of 10, would pee again. It was clean in there, they had soap and paper towels, and it didn't smell bad all the things that matters in life because I don't fuck around with those hand dryers those are disgusting I said it um, okay but what did we get what did we haul I got a Hershey's cookies and cream bar I'm just like hella craving chocolate right now and then I got a Twix cookies and cream didn't realize I was buying like a theme uh, Spencer got some bugles underrated hot buffalo you like bugles? I love bugles yeah same and then some trolley sour eggs. And we're back on the road. I think we have like, what, three or four more hours till we get to our first official stop? Yeah, four or five. Yep, back on the road. It's actually like hella smoky outside. Like, I don't know if you guys can really tell, like if the camera can pick it up, but it's pretty smoky out. So we have like our windows up and stuff now, but. This is not how I like to drive. We're chilling. We've been playing this game that I saw on TikTok where uh, it's for road trips, where you go back and forth through the alphabet, 
and each person picks a song with the title that's with like that letter so like a b whatever so we've been playing that and that's really fun i think i might try to make it into a spotify playlist i don't know maybe it'd be fun like road trip memories but pretty cool i liked it, it was yeah fun. it was fun i'm gonna do it again mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 we'll do it again <laughs> okay back on the road it's only i mean i guess seven o'clock is kind of late but it is so gloomy and the sun looks so crazy you guys we finally made it to our first stop on the destination just a little Courtyard Marriott for the night. I'm feeling pretty exhausted from the t drive, if you can't tell by my super drowsy eyes. Also, like I said, it was so smoky, so my eyes are just so irritated. I'm so excited to go to sleep right now. Good morning. It is 8.07. What did I just get? Oh, I just got a notification from Nike. 8.07, um, we're leaving our little hotel that we literally just slept in last night. And today is like the big driving day, so I think we'll make it all the way to Arizona today, uh, which is exciting, but we have good news and bad news. One, good news, I remembered the vitamins, okay? I'm not gonna reach back there to grab them, but I remembered them, I'll show you later. Trust us, they're there. The bad news here, Spencer forgot to pack shoes, so he has... I have the shoes I'm wearing. He has one pair of shoes. He has one pair of black, uh, like, Nike, sh you know, tennis shoes, sneakers, um, but that's it. One pair of shoes is not enough for anyone. I don't care who you are. Well, okay? I need white shoes for my white outfits. Yeah, he needs a pair of white sneakers. He was going to bring his Air Force Ones, and he just spaced it, forgot them, so... We're on a mission to find him some shoes right now. Nothing's really open. I think the more tricky part isn't going to be that we won't be able to find shoes because, you know, there's Nikes and Foot Lockers and stuff everywhere. It's the Spencer's of size 14, so. Yeah, usually people don't have 14s. Yeah, I think we'll find something, but <clears throat> first up, as always, I need some coffee, no makeup again today. Literally, I think we're gonna be doing 10 hours driving, so let's get our morning started. Let's get the drive going. Okay guys, update. We found an outlet mall and we're getting Spencer some shoes. Okay, guys, couple updates. One, we found Spencer some shoes. I will show you later. I don't wanna get in the back and unbox them. You know how it is. Um, kind of a fiasco, I'm not gonna lie. We went to an outlet mall and we had to go to three different stores to find uh, Spencer's size and shoes. We're getting hangry, no lie. Driving, we just came across a little fruit cart. So we got just the mix, cucumber, Mango, watermelon, cantaloupe, pineapple with some chamoy and tajin. My mouth is literally watering so hard right now. Look at this big ass chunk of cucumber. It's kind of hard to eat the plastic fork. <gasps> oh, I dropped some all over my lap. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, that's tasty. Yum. I definitely stay in my shorts. There's see through anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing this super cute little leopard set you guys saw. Walking around everywhere, not knowing that you can completely see my thong, the front and the back, through my pants. But what are you gonna do at this point? Now I have to change because I have a huge red stain on them. But we are still in California. It is 12 of 40. We spent a good amount of time in that outlet mall, actually. We did, yeah. 
Um, and now we're getting back on the road and trying to find some lunch, but this is our snack snack in between times. Fire, you guys. Just snack on, girl. You know how So good. Alright, back on the road. I had to pull over for this billboard. It's literally an alien. We swung off the freeway so fast, so dope, and it's like an alien. I don't know what it is. Legit as fuck. Okay guys, good morning. Final leg of our trip today before we actually make it to Sedona, make it to our resort we're staying at. We got into Arizona last night, got into the hotel and passed out. We're kind of having a little bit of a late start today because Spencer has a migraine, but we're getting some gas right now and we're back on the road. Today is our actual wedding anniversary. It's the 22nd, so five years married that's why we're taking this trip i'm so excited right now to finally like get back on the road too um so yeah it should only take us like four ish hours to get there i cannot wait i'm so ready to get in the pool i'm so ready to just relax have a drink like i gotta get there you know i put a little bit of makeup on today because i knew we were like finally getting to our destination so i wanted to feel kind of pretty got my alien hat going yeah, and it is so nice right now in Arizona. We finally got out of the smoke. Like I swear all of California was so smoky and now that we're in AZ, it's not as smoky.
Okay, Crystal Hall. I have been saying since we left Oregon, like I have to buy some crystals and rocks while we're here because obviously we're in the desert and it's gonna be a full moon. So I'm like, oh, perfect opportunity for me to like charge them up, you know? Uh, so we drove by that dope ass store and we pulled in. First thing we got here is I got this, look at this. Come on camera, focus. Focus. This is a citrine ring. So cute. Citrine, yeah. So you could see that. I'm still like learning more about like what all the crystals like mean and what they do and stuff like that. I'm like still slowly learning, but what do you got in your hand there, babe? Oh, oh my hand. This is a sheen uh, obsidian. Obsidian. This is an obsidian ball. But it's like super cool. You can like see the reflection in it and it like looks different when the light shines in it. Dope. Um, here's a couple of really cool things. This is a Celest Celestia Night? Celestite. Celestite crystal. It looks so pretty. It's like that really cool gray sky blue color. And it's just like a chunk of it. I thought that was so cool. Um, What's this one called, Honey Lee? That one is, uh, I'm sorry, it was the first it's one okay. we got here. Is it Labradorite? Labradorite. Labradorite. I don't know if we're saying that right or not, but. Yeah. So cool. It's one side of it is of really. Feldspar family. Ooh, one side's really smooth and polished, and the other side is rough. So pretty. Um, we got an emerald stone, that's what it was called, right? Yeah. An emerald stone. Dope. That one's good because it's supposed to be for, you know, lovers and stuff. For lovers, which we are. It is our anniversary today. That's true. And then we got in here, so tiny, I don't want to break it or anything. A little teeny tiny. That is My camera's having ammonite. a hard time even focusing. Little, hold please. It's it taped together, I don't want to. Ammonite. Ammonite. Look at that. It's a little fossil. So cute. They had a bunch of really dope fossils and stuff in there too. I also... They had a megalodon tooth. Did you see that? Yeah, megalodon tooth. It was so big. It was the coolest thing in the world, but it was $350. And I'm like, ah, Yeah, they there. had like dinosaur teeth and all sorts of shit. It was super dope. You know, we're really into it. Do you want to keep holding this or are we going to put it away? Okay. We love rocks. We love crystals in this house. If you know, you know. Um, so cool. And that's like on the way to the Grand Canyon, like on the same road. I think we still have, what, 30 miles till we're at the Grand Canyon. But apparently there's a McDonald's like two miles before you get there. So I'm super excited to see the Grand Canyon. Are you excited, babe? It sounded like you're excited about the McDonald's. I'm like, why? I mean, I'm also low key excited about the McDonald's because it's so weird that there's a McDonald's at the Grand Canyon. God, I hope it's like over the edge. I hope it's like, you can sit in there and see the Grand Canyon like very visible. Oh, like you can eat and dine from that like the be, kids' play yeah. place? Yeah, the view is just perfect from the... From the <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. I was making a joke that's like, uh, you know how you, when you go into national parks and stuff, you have to like pay to get in? I'm like, oh, just show your McDonald's receipt and they'll let you in. <laughs> yeah. Like as long as you got a 10 piece, you're good. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're doing right now. Ah, I'm so excited about these crystals though. We're definitely charging them in the full moon tonight. I'm excited about the Grand Canyon too. Well, yeah, I'm excited about the Grand Canyon. I told you I'm gonna throw a pebble in it and make a wish. Safely. Safely. We're not throwing it down where people are. No okay. trash, no money, just a little pebble that's already there. It's already there. And making a wish, okay? Checking it twice. And checking it twice. Wait, that's a list, not a wish. <laughs> <laughs> Debit cards only. Well, thirty-five dollars. Damn. Oh shit. We made it. Kinda. <laughs> Someone else would find your beauty new. Rolling rocks. 
her tigers. Guys, we made it. The Grand Motherfucking Canyon. What? I can't even. Do you know that if you killed every single person in the world and put them in the Grand Canyon, it wouldn't even fill it up a quarter of the way? Alcoholic, I keep trying to be one. Cause it seems fun when you're falling down. It's just so big. All right. So, so Grand Canyon, dope as fuck. Holy shit. Incredible. Like, I knew it was going to be cool, but I had no fucking idea it was going to be that dope. Yeah, every, you see all the postcards and all the stuff, and everyone says that the best outcome from the Grand Canyon is that it can meet your expectations, right? Mm -hmm. That's like a common theme. Yeah. But holy shit, no. It was bigger than I just expected. It was more grand. It was more beautiful. It, it was, was grand as fuck. It was grand as fuck. Yes. Breathtaking. Straight up. And now we're on our way out. We did not stop at McDonald's, but we did stop at Wendy's because we wanted a Frosty. Frosty. It was hot. Mm. And I got a little salad. Now, we're finally on our way to Sedona. We're finally on our way to a resort. It says we should get there in like two hours. A little bit late, but... A little works. bit late, but that's fine. I'm also not puking anymore, so... Yeah, Spencer feels better now. He's getting a little food in his system, a little frosty. He makes everything better. <laughs> Salad. I'm going to open my fork yet, but... Looks good. Yum. So All right, we got this, guys. We're making it today. We got it. So check back in at the hotel. Mm-hmm. Check in at the hotel. My awful tolerance.